In the early 2000s, Panama City Beach Council member Gail Oberst had a vision of making the community more walkable. Today, the city is one and a half miles closer to achieving Hobart's dream. As News 13's Alex Sly tells us, the city opened its newest segment of the trails this morning. Wednesday morning, Panama City Beach held the grand opening for a new segment of Gail's Trails. The concept first came to light in 1998. The idea was kind of uh, based on a study that Bay County did uh, about 25 years ago. And in that study, it determined we lived in a beautiful place. And we better start thinking about how we were going to save that beautiful place. Today, the system of gravel and asphalt walkways spans nearly 30 miles of Panama City Beach. We're trying to connect uh, uh, a trail uh, from Walton County to uh, Panama City, basically, and uh, from uh, 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 the west end around Lake Powell to uh, the Hathaway Bridge. Earlier this year, the city received $2.6 million from the Florida Department of Transportation's Sun Trail Grant Program to help cover the cost of the new multi-use East Trail. The new walkway begins here at Arnold High School and extends nearly a mile and a half to the Breakfast Point subdivision. The trail is 12 feet wide and has a boardwalk that stretches over wetlands. Ober served 16 years on the city council, the last 10 as mayor. While she originally proposed the trails, she says many others worked hard to make Gail's trails a reality. I always tell people that it's not that I'm Gail's trails. What it is, is we are Gail's trail. It's been a community effort with the organizations, with the, with the, the businesses, the landowners, and all of our agencies. So it's a joint effort, and I, I hope that I'm here to see the next big space that's open. In Panama City Beach, Alex Schley, News 13, Panhandle Strong. The trails are open to walking, running, and cycling. Motorized transportation, things like golf carts, are not permitted.